Hey, welcome back to another episode of Dutch Eats, and today we're finally outside. Hold on, I gotta close that screen door, it's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm gonna show you my new pit boss. I haven't made a video over this yet because I wanted to get several cooks in it um, before I actually did a video on it. Um, this isn't a how to use a pit boss or anything like that. It's gonna be how to make fall off the bone ribs. Fall off the bone ribs, yeah meat falling off the bone ribs on my pit boss. Um, I've cooked on this about 10 times now. Just got it like two weeks ago. You can see I just, I guess got it warmed up, uh, the smoke going. I'll let it heat up a little bit. I already got my ribs ready. So I'm gonna show you the footage of getting the ribs ready. And then uh, once this is ready to uh, put them on, I'll come back and I'll show you guys that process. Uh, now I'm a, traditionally, I like offset smoker. Um, but I let my nephew borrow it and he's had it for a while. And uh, I've been wanting something very convenient as far as electric smoker like I have bef I've had before. And, or one of these uh, pellet smokers. I've heard a lot of things about it. I did a lot of research on it before I bought the Pit Boss. And uh, for everything I read, the videos I watched, the Pit Boss, this Pit Boss, the Pro Series, offers the most bang for the buck. Um, it actually has a charbroiler on there. You could bake on it and you could smoke on it. And that charbroiler I've used a lot and that is, that's awesome. So I'll start doing more videos on this uh, actual pit boss and how to use some of the functions and stuff like that after this video but i want to get a smoking video out for you guys so while well, i got this warmed up um i'll let the ribs set for a while um and you guys you guys will see how i did that just use a basic rub so um, i'll come back when it's ready i'll come back pal put them on there and, and tell you the process that i'm doing hope you guys enjoy today's episode of fall off the bone fall off the bone ribs <laughs> hope you guys do smash that like button if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel Dutch Eats. thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoy I just turned this on five minutes ago and it's already up to 200 degrees uh, so make sure you can see the, the flame roll right there and I'll show I'll probably show you a quick way you can just uh, quick clean this grate it's just with some foil uh, so you can see the flame down there that's awesome I'll close that up once I put the ribs up I got my water pan in here and uh, you can see it's just gonna be that holds 35 pounds of of, uh, wood chips. I'm using hickory today and I uh, can't wait to get this going. It'll be awesome. This has got a big chamber. It actually has a rack I got right there. I haven't used it yet, but you can put it right there and cook stuff on there. So if you're doing a lot, you can actually have another layer of it. But today, we're just going to put it right over here and I'll show you guys our process. Okay, let's do a little voiceover right here. Now, some people don't do this, but I always do this with uh, my ribs. You can see the one up top I already did. You're just pulling that membrane off. Um, get you a little knife, make you a cut, get your paper towel, and just try to get a hold of it. Some of them are a little bit easier than others. This one's actually a little bit easier than the first one I did, um, if you could believe that. But yeah, you just get that paper towel and just pull it off. And what I found this helps to do is get the seasoning inside the meat on there. And uh, and you, some people don't just don't like that membrane right there. So. Uh, get it off if you want. You don't have to, but it's just something that I always do. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to trim up a couple little pieces here and there. These don't really need a whole lot of trimming. I, I don't do much trimming on my ribs anyways. I just pretty much just get on there and just cook them. Let's see here. Get that little bit of fat off there. I took a little bit more off too than that. You can see right there. And I'm using this Yardbird uh, rub. I can't really remember. I might got that at Academy, but I use a, a mustard base. You could probably use an olive oil or whatever you got. Mustard seems you don't you don't taste the mustard uh, when you cook after you're cooking it, and then just uh, coat it evenly. You know, um, don't be stingy with it. Throw it on there and uh, let it sit for a few hours overnight, whatever you like. I let these sit for about four or five hours um, before I put them on the smoker. We'll flip them over and repeat the process right here. And you can use any uh, any rub you want. This is just the one that um, I, I like to try. I like to try different rubs, and this is just a different one that I got, and I actually like it. So hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, you can see I got the ribs on. Uh, now, before we get started uh, in uh, actually going into detail what I'm doing, um, there's a channel out there called Jared Crocker. 
and he thinks he's like the best smoke king, some grill, grill master or something that he calls himself. And uh, that's fine. He, he uh, likes to toot his horn a lot. Um, but he likes to call people out a lot too. And he called me out uh, several weeks ago on how to uh, smoke some ribs. And uh, I seen his video and I wasn't impressed. I mean, they looked like they, they were edible. Uh, but today I'm going to show you guys how to cook ribs the right way. Uh, if you get a chance, uh, go tell Jared Crocker. That's his YouTube name, Jared Crocker. Go tell him that uh, Dutch sent you over there and uh, that Dutch is a way better cook than he is. <laughs> He's skinny. He can't be that good of a cook, right? <laughs> but all right, I'll get in here and show you guys the ribs and uh, show you what I'm going to spritz them with. And uh, I think you guys are going to like uh, the finished product on this. Okay, as you've seen, uh, you've probably seen me prepping these. Um, you can do anything you want. You can do any kind of seasoning you want. You can actually use, um, I use mustard for a base to get a stick. Um, you can use olive oil and other things too. Uh, today, I'm going to be using just basic apple juice uh, to spritz them down. And I'll come out here probably every 30 minutes or so for the first couple hours. And uh, we'll, we'll do that right there. We'll keep it nice and moist. And also, um, that will keep it moist too, the water pan. You want to have a water pan whenever you're smoking uh, long smokes. This is going to be about a five hour smoke. Um, I'm going to try to do the two, three, one method, two hours of smoke, three hours wrapped, and then one hour off, uh, out of the, uh, open up the wrappers. And I'll show you that. Um, if, they, if they need a little bit longer, we'll leave it a little bit longer. So with this pit boss, what I found out, you're going to do the smoke, and this, I'm going to close this up for a second. You're going you're gonna to do the smoke, and it's going to be about, I think, like 160 to 200 range when they're smoking. Uh, so we'll do that probably for a couple hours, and then I'll go ahead and bump it up to about 225 and let it slow, uh, slow and slow for the rest of the time. And uh, I'm hoping these turn out awesome. I've not cooked ribs on the pit boss yet. Uh, yeah, I've done a lot of ribs uh, over, the, over the years on my offset smoker and also electric smoker I used to have. That's what I got started on. And there's always a big uh, controversy over uh, this isn't a real smoker. That uh, If you're not off, offset and you're not, a, you're not a barbecuer, you know, I don't care. If it turns out good, tastes great, that's all I care about. The family enjoys it. Um, I, could do, I can do it all. So I can do the offset and I can do this. And uh, I, I personally like the offset smoker. It's, just, it's, it's fun to get out there and mess with the fire and just watch it and do all that. This is more or less like set it and forget it type of deal. Um, and I'm fine with that too. Conveniency is what I was going for on this. And you can see I got it in my screened in back porch. Um, I'm not willing to put an offset smoker in my screened in back porch for obvious reasons. It's flare ups, flames, and big old wood uh, on fire inside there. Um, but look what I did here. I, I set it so I don't smoke out my whole uh, back porch. I put a fan on it right here and it blows that out into the yard. And uh, that actually actually helps quite a bit. So it's not seeping back into the house too. Um, so all right, this is the Pit Boss, the Pro Series. Hope you guys like it. Um, if you got any questions on how to use it or whatnot, leave me some comments down below and I'll try to do my best to get back to you guys. Um, I'll open it up one more time, show you what we got going on, and then we'll let it cook. And as, as I come back and open it up and uh, spritz it, I'll show you that too. One thing you gotta do is make sure you got plenty of uh, wood chips in there for the actual cook. And it's creeping back up to about 150. Let me see. So we're gonna set it and forget it. If you're looking, you ain't cooking. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I bumped this up to about, I put on 200 and usually read between, you can see 200 and 225 because uh, it just wasn't getting the temperature I want on the smoke level. Something, it just kind of varies depending on its mood, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, spritz, it one, spritz it one more time. And then here in just a little bit, I'm going to wrap it up and leave it wrapped up for about three hours. But we'll come back out and check it and uh, open it up and we'll see what it looks like. If it needs to go another hour or two, uh, we're going to do it. But we're doing low and slow. It's set on 200 right now and uh, I think it's going to be great. So let's open it up and take a look. So you can see it's actually reading about 215-ish, I guess. And then you come down here, it says, I got it set for 200, but it's actually reading 180. And it's got probes right here, or uh, inlets, so I can put the probe, but we don't do probes on uh, ribs. Okay, looking good. about an hour and a half into this cook. So about another 30 or 40 minutes, I'm gonna wrap them up.
take a look at it underneath, just to see. Oh yeah. Okay, good. Yep. All right. If you're looking, you ain't cooking. Okay, we're right at two hours. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap these ribs, and uh, we'll probably do it right here if I can. I'm going to pour a little bit of this apple juice in there too. Uh, adding this apple juice will definitely keep help keep it moist and uh, nice and tender. You probably don't have to, but that's just the way I always do it. It always turned out great. And you always want to do a double wrap just in case you catch something on the foil. That way you're not ripping right through it. You got a chance of has a better chance of not going through uh, both of them. All right, we'll close it up. See you in three hours. So I'm just going to leave it in here. I'm probably not even going to check it for two hours. We'll come back at the two hour mark, open it up, take a look at it, and see what the separation is on the bones. Uh, make sure it's got a nice moisture to it with the apple juice. If I need to add more, I can. Um, you can even add a little uh, barbecue sauce to that if you want. But the 2-3-1 uh, the method is uh, where you keep it two hours of smoke, three hours wrapped, and then the last hour is when you add your barbecue sauce if you want to. I might do uh, that on one of them and not the other just to give the family some options. So, All right, we'll see you here in a couple hours. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. Okay, so these have been on right at two and a half hours wrapped up. Uh, we're going to open it up and see how they look. And if, I, if the separation is coming from the bone, um, I'll probably open them up and uh, let them finish cooking the rest of the time. So let's, let's open up and take a look. Oh yeah, you can see. Look at that bone come right out of there. These are done. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some sauce on one of them and not the other. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this one opened up. And if this one's done, the other one is too. You can see that separation. I like mine fall off the bone like that. Some people may not, but that's how I like it. I'm just using a head country right here. This is a little bit spicier for the kids, um, but it's my favorite. It's my favorite. And I won't do the other one just so they have options. Go ahead and open this one up too. Oh yeah. Yep. It's great. Cannot wait. All right, we'll let these cook a little bit longer and I'll show you tearing into them here in just a minute. Okay, the ribs are done. Um, I need to let them rest before we serve them, but just for time's sake, I want to hurry up and finish this video for you guys. So I'm going to pull them off, put them on here, and cut into one, and try it for y'all, and just show you how tender this is. I'm telling you, super tender. Hope you can see that. These are the ones I put the barbecue sauce on. Uh-oh. Falling apart. That's how tender they are. Well, you can just see this one right here. Look. That bone just comes right off. Fall off the bone. I told you it was going to be fall off the bone. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Let's see if I can cut some of this. I definitely need to let these rest or it's hot.
Okay, so I know everyone doesn't like fall off the bone like we do, um, so don't take it personal that they do. A lot of people like to just bite into it and tear it off. I absolutely love it when you can just tear it off the bone. Let's try it. <laughs> That's amazing. That is awesome. I love tender, tender ribs like that. I know Jared Crocker down there in Texas thinks he's the best rib grill master in the world. I'm telling you right now, his look dry. Uh, they look like the piece of let. No, I'm just joking. But yeah, anyway, Jared, here's your ribs for you. He called me out in a few videos back, like I said earlier. Um, I got the ribs done. Turned out awesome. And uh, if you guys have not tried to cook ribs, try it. It's very simple to do. Um, I did the three, two, one method or two, three, one method, but the two hours uncovered, three hours covered up, and then actually probably about 30 minutes um, uncovered with a little bit of barbecue sauce on one of these turned out per perfect. And you can do any kind of sauce you want. Um, you can do the apple juice like I did squirt on there. Um, it's just, it's up to you. There's so many different options you could do, but hope you guys enjoyed uh, this episode of Dutch Eats cooking. Fall off the, my dogs are going crazy there. Fall off the bone ribs on the uh, Pit Boss uh, pellet smoker grill uh, cooker. Yeah, um, first time I've cooked ribs on here, and I'm not disappointed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button for me if you would. If you're not subscribed to Dutch Eats, please subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on next video. Thanks for watching.